Hey, it's Matthew. I'm up in the Gallery of Guitar again and I'm having another look through the lovely vinyl collection up here and it's really virtuosic playing today that, I, that I'm listening to. The sunlight's pouring in here in Glasgow today. It's a sunny day in Scotland and these big windows up in the gallery are letting in a lot of light. But what's really illuminating the space is this virtuosic playing. So this is not an Italian guitarist playing such fantastically virtuosic Italian repertoire and the, the album is uh, Chitara Italiana on Deutsche Grammophon and the guitarist is a German, Siegfried Berendt, incredible player. Lots of colour in the playing. Mixing articulations on that uh, melodic line in slurs, uh, that might be frowned upon today. Today in the modern aesthetic of guitar, there's sometimes a push to keep articulations the same, um, I often approach melodic information with the same intent um, and vary dynamics and vary colour, but actually Siegfried takes quite a big chance there and he, he literally changes the way he plays it. He goes across the string one time and on the string the other time. It keeps you guessing, it keeps the music really vital, full of energy and really alive. Um, when I say he's an aggressive player, I don't mean that in a, in, a, in, a, in a negative concept. I mean it that he comes out the gate all the time really, really fast. A fast attack on the note, right into the arpeggios, right into the scales. Just like they should be played, full, full of energy, really, really lively playing. Siegfried was not only on Deutsche Grammophon, which is a, a huge record label and gives you that international reach way beyond Germany, but he was he was an international concert touring artist and he was a chamber musician. Um, he did a lot of work with voice and guitar and you actually find at the end of this recording that he goes to some Busotti, which at the time was really quite contemporary music for voice and guitar, written between 1969 and 1974. And that is really quite staggering because it gives you it gives you this really different, almost avant-garde atmosphere after so much Italian romanticism. Now it's not just romantic music, there's early music, there's music from the late 1600s, there's Roncalli on here, there's Paganini, um, there's Fabrizio Caruso, there's Giuliani, uh, Casanova Tedesco. So it's a real mix of Italian guitar repertoire. All played incredibly, uh, exquisitely and with huge drive and huge energy. Um, Siegfried was a really interesting character. You know, he did a lot for German guitar education, he was a really renowned teacher, published a lot of pedagogical material, a lot of books for children, um, conducted mandolin and guitar orchestras, just a really interesting uh, force in our music. He was the first German guitarist to premiere the Concerto de Aranjuez by Rodrigo, so that is a rite of passage for any guitar player. And to be the first of your uh, of your nation to do it must have been something really special. There's that directness. Apiando, rest stroke, really dark sound on the string, pushing forward all the time. I actually came across uh, Siegfried when I was at the academy studying and found one of his records in the library and listened to it. So hopefully you today have. Um, maybe discovered this or rediscovered it, which is always a nice thing. Nostalgic when you find a recording that you heard from before or a player that you were familiar with and maybe not so much recently. When they came back into your into your mind, that's a lovely moment. Um, and I remember quite vividly hearing this guitarist for the first time and being stunned that I hadn't known of him or known of his playing. So really a fantastic record. Siegfried Berend, Chitara Italiana on Deutsche Grammophon. Hopefully you can find it out there on a streaming platform but there's a little introduction to it today. Bye for now.